Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Relationship Flow. We are with my wonderful soulmate, Masha Goldschmidt, aka Teeny Pops 613. We're so excited to uh, share some updates that recently came through and the biggest news is... Well, our son was in Gaza. Um, his, um, his, I don't know how you say it in English, but his battalion, unit, unit, unit that's the word, um, right. they had left Gaza for um, a few months um, and he hasn't been home since the 7th of October. That's more than two and a half months meters. now, where we are Turn now. Left. We only officially spoke to him one time yeah um while he was there with, um and in gaza and we only also second, saw him one time now. yeah um so basically one second yeah doing your left doing we only left. saw him one time in person Turn two left. weeks after october the Be 7th and oh, then just, he went just before he went yeah into, just into before gaza. he went into Gaza, we got to see him for a few hours we mentioned this already i think anyway so basically and so it's um, been 75 days since he was so in basically Azza. he um they were, he, he was allowed home on Thursday night. Ten for Tavis. And then, Gosh, is where you gash. so he time. had Friday, uh, but it was, uh, and then he was meant to go back shop today, uh, shop this afternoon, but his Mufakhead said that, his captain, said that he could, um, that if, uh, could we keep, keep shops? Obviously it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a matter of, you know, life and death and it's a war obviously he would be able to go on Shabbos if if he if he there was no choice like he did on the 7th of October and all the time in Gaza what he, he, he the, the decisions he has to make um in terms of, of these things but um no, my, sorry car was about to drive when it's red um <laughs> gosh guy. What? what oh well, I guess he knew I guess he knew he must live around here or something. um he knew that it was about to turn yeah. green Okay, wait, so basically... Um, Look, it's a funny place over there. Yeah, it's a little bit scary, but anyway, I'm not gonna... Um, sorry, well, was, uh, anyway, so he, the, he was told that um, if we drive him back to his base straight off the Shabbos, then um, he could uh, finish basically off Shabbos. finish off Shabbos at home. Together. So basically, we were blessed with an, an, a few more hours with him, and then obviously the drive to the base, uh, which so was special. another like hour and like 20 minutes. Um, yeah, Hashem is so good to us. It was, it was literally the best Shabbos. It was also the first Shabbos that all my kids were home together in a really long time, like a really long time. Um, it was so beautiful. Um, and it's really, and it's really, in, it's, it's really intense emotions as a mother. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's very intense emotions as a mother because um, I'm so proud of what he's doing and and he I, I believe in what he's doing and it's amazing and it's it's un, it's just amazing um, and he's and he's at the same and at the same time he's so, and he's so strong um, and he's got such faith and um, but at the same time I want want to keep him home and. Um, I'm very close to him. We have a very deep connection. Um, so it's intense, like these mixed emotions and um, really trying to be in the moment while he was there, trying not to think about that he was going to have to leave so soon. Um, and also on our relationship, mine and yours, it's, it's you know, we're, I've, it's, it's, I'm not going to say this, it's, we, it's put a strain because we're, we're, we're so soulmates. Close. We're soulmates, and we're so close, and and we're there for each other. Besties. But um, we've we've had to really understand that it's a whole different reality that we're living right now, like day to day, like knowing that our child is in the most such dangerous place and dangerous situations, and um, not and, hearing and, and, about and, it, and, and yeah, not knowing anything. Yeah. You know, we get, we get, we get, uh, we have a parent WhatsApp group and we'll get a, a message that the boys are, they're okay, you know, in the meantime. So we yeah, have, didn't know any details. So it's crazy. All this, like when he came back and all the stuff that we'd, we'd seen on the news, he was, that he was there, part of all those things, like really all those, crazy. All those intense Anyway, so basically, um, just the, the, the work on oneself, like really trying not to, not, not letting your, 
not in anyone's mind wonder on like the worst case scenario um really focus on on positive thoughts um i i try like what i just do is i, cl I close my eyes and i visualize him and i give him a hug and a blessing and um, and then just in terms of our relationship mine and your relationship is just having this understanding um i'm kind of like on on survival in a sense basically because i want i want to be i know that for my son it's it's so important that that i'm strong uh while he's away because that's the thing he's the most worried about he's he's not worried he's not he's not scared for his life he, he does he's not he's not scared to die like he should live to 120 he should be healthy and well he should come back in one piece and alive and safe and all the all the soldiers uh, uh, but he's more worried if i'm going to be okay so what's 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 giving me strength is just thinking about him and just trying to be like functional imagine if he would walk in the door wanting to come back to a mother that's strong and and functional in the house is you know it's okay and you definitely need to build that like um, his bedroom, at the same time no his bedroom was beautiful we we our daughter oldest daughter made a beautiful painting for him and our youngest daughter made a beautiful like pottery a, a pottery mag, mug a mag with hearts a, on a, it like a, a, a like, saucer love love kind of hearts on it and then um you know we we got a new like thing that you know was stretching a little bit but we managed to get one of those not dysons like one of the a shark i got shark. a shark vacuum cleaner like and it was but that was like uh, i don't know for most people nowadays yeah, that's, that's like a, a staple given. for us it's, for a, real us, it's a real luxury and we did it and she used it in the room and cleaned up all the cobwebs and all the stuff that needed <laughs> we have it. a spider problem in our house it's... even though it's a top floor they still get there yeah and um she managed to get rid of all the cobwebs and made it make it nice and brand new it makes us sound like we live in a haunted house no we do and and brand new like you know uh pajamas which oh, they're not pajamas i got them in new set, like, like a nike thing a nike set he was uh, able to wear it when he went out just on, be comfortable to go to the mayan on friday he went to a special uh, place to toval to to like a mikvah kind of thing i don't know what to call it in english like and a, i got him a foot treat uh, of water with one treat. of our friends dog and then a foot i got him a yeah. foot treatment because he's been in his boots for two, two so many months, days, they don't, they don't like they'll take up his boots really or the socks and so he so what so it's just getting rid of all any like dead skin and cutting the toenails and putting all these like different creams on and stuff so yeah um and even she did it for a special rate yeah she gave a really big discount and our friend dog really nice. came special to our house in a jeep take him to to tovo yeah. And then we had the whole Shabbat. People were so excited to see him. We took it. It was amazing. Where we live at, the community is. Yeah. Is, he got so much strength from the community we and live in. The Rosa family so took us to Rav Shlomo Katz's home on Shabbat night. It was so beautiful there. Got a blessing. They each gave each other the anyway, blessing. Anyway, so basically, the this relationship flow. So yeah. What what we're Shabbat trying to get day, is we just. We had a class um, together, and the community was excited. It got blessings from all the different places we go to everyone was so excited a lot yeah. of love and i have a lot of support um, as well um that helps a lot it helps a lot to know that other being a man let's be honest as much as i want to be so supportive, basically he really I doesn't have know. the emotional language that my wife needs um, i'm trying I come he's much from better a, than he used to be emotionally but... uh, retarded um, <laughs> Say that in excuse me <laughs> emotionally undeveloped um, um what do you call it underprivileged uh, <laughs> emotionally what's uh, the word? not the most emotionally uh, developed mature progressive something or other it basically they're not really so emotionally uh, intelligent and uh, they're my amazing family, people so they they're, just, they're just uh, that's their weakness so when it comes to now dealing with these heavy things like and it's really about what i've noticed this whole last few months is all about facing your pain it's all about facing what's going so on. So your your issue is you have the negative, to face the negative. You don't know emotions. you find you and that's no, like your family's like that. Negative emotion is is hard. But, but I'm doing it. Yeah. So for for me, um, I just just this just knowing that somebody like understands what I'm feeling, it yes. just makes such a huge difference. Sure. Um, and. Uh, what was I gonna say? Keep but yeah, I think it's just we just have to be ready, to being patient with each other, and understanding yeah. each other, and not take things personally. Um, 
because it's it's really it's really really intense. It's really really intense. It it's, is. Just, it's, it's stuff that we've never had to deal with before. Sure. Uh, it's, it's, um, this is a first. You know, you've got to, you know, you have to let your, you, have to, you really have to believe that everything's exactly how it's meant to be. I mean, I, and I do, and, and, and our son feels that too. Everything's exactly how it's meant to be, and whatever happens is exactly, exactly meant to be and how it's meant to happen. Not that it's not, knowing that everything's how it's meant to be doesn't mean that it's not, that you don't feel the pain. It can be totally painful, and you can feel broken, and your heart can be sore. But um, you can sort of, at the same time, you also know that you can also know that it's exactly how it's meant to be. And hundred um, percent. And yeah, it gives a lot of strength. Um, yeah, I'm very emotional right now. I've got a lump in my throat. Um, and we should pray. Look, yeah. he's going to be going into Azar. Going back in. And he's very focused. He wants to go back in. It's the most amazing thing with these yeah. soldiers. They what they. They, they, and he also tells us, he keeps telling us he wants us to get on with our life, but we're like, not totally, like we're not going out to sit like we're cinema not doing, we're not doing any, we're parties doing what has to be done. What I have PLM or like fancy places. Yeah. So, I mean, we're living simply and, and we anyway focused. Live simply, but... Yeah, I know, but we're extra simple and yeah. we're a little bit socializing, but really it's always with this kind of on our head. And on our other son's birthday, he's going to be 18, so yeah. we have to give him some focus. We have to balance it out with all the other children. I said, no, that's the hardest thing. I'm still a mom yeah. to other to other children. Yeah. And um, and I really sometimes you can add me as a son. Yeah, well. exactly. So, so children. and yeah, I no. have to obviously while I'm like thinking about I'm my up. son in in, a, in a Gaza and you know really miss him and my heart hurts. And then I say this the Shabbat he was home. I really I had to like I really. It was a juggle in a sense because you know, I, I, you know, everybody, all our kids need attention. Um, yeah. But they were really, really understanding. Yeah, that the kids are really good. They were really amazing. But that's what we speak about everything. We and even our about. oldest daughter, she just did like all the dishes while we were out, while she drove some a bunch of kids somewhere else so we could take off. It's a, it can allow us to do a lot of things together. Yeah, um, it's dark on this road. Yeah, it's a bit scary, like in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get back. We've got some friends who are asked us to come to the pizza. Maybe we're on the way. We'll drop up, say hello. That's what's so nice. They know that we're going to be yeah. feeling a bit emotional. So they want to just be there for us. It's really special. Yeah, and uh, the key is with the relationship flow is that the bottom line is we're all souls. And that gives us that comfort. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. We're connected in a deep way to our son and to all our family. And uh, uh, one mission, thing I had to, I had to give like uh, 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 one thing that, that, that our son said. He said with his team there, they're switched off from the world. They don't have fo their phones. They're just with each other. They have to, they have to go to the toilet and make a number two in front of each other. They, like there's no being self-conscious and there's no like all these inhibition like you just have to you, you basically he's basically they're just basically purely with each other they have to be have each other's backs and look look out for each other and yes, life or they've got time life that they sit together you know and they have to keep each other keep each other going and he said the connections with these his team it's like on your truest self you like connecting with each other in their truest self and it's connection he said that like it's you know it's an amazing thing it's an amazing thing anyway it's just uh, just some sometimes just and we grew up before the internet so we had that time um, and he's it's a, just sometimes I guess you can switch off a little bit and really be in the moment with the people you're with. Yeah. It's very important. I just want to say that. Anyway, everyone, thank you for listening. I think it's something which is very inspiring. If anyone wants to hear more about my son's journey, the little bit I can share. I'm going to be in London in January the 7th, whoever's around there. And I'm happy to talk about it. I already have a program or, or two interested in hosting me then. And uh, there's a lot of potential to really get this beautiful light that's been created in the Holy Land and in all our different struggles to get it out globally and the key is that we remember we're all souls, we're all together, united souls and uh, we could sh keep sharing that relationship flow, That it's, there's a flow, there's a good energy together and I love you all and my wife appreciates 
and give the time to talk to you guys. Thank you for listening. Only good news. All the best. Bye. Bye.